Uh, to, in this lesson, we're going to talk about one-step equations. Really simple stuff. I think it's the, the kind of the basis of what most people think of when they think of algebra is solving equations. An equation is a statement of equality, so you have an equal sign in it. Uh, 5 plus 4 equals 9 is an equation in a sense. What we're going to do is add the variable in and try to figure out, well, if I knew that, well, some value for x, which I don't know what it is, plus 6 gives me 9. Well, I know that 3 and 6 is 9, so I can say that x is equal to 3. But we're going to talk about how to go about solving it in terms of uh, following a procedure. That way you can follow, find much bigger ones without having to just have the mental ability to say, oh, it's this and this and this. Because once it gets more complicated, it gets more complicated. One-step equations usually pretty simple. Uh, so let's look at a couple or a few of them. So the first one says p plus 10 is equal to 29. Now this is an add subtract relationship between the p and the 10. The first thing I always like to do when I'm solving equations because I don't know basically the question says what do I add to 10 to get 29. So the first thing I always like to do is draw a line down the equal sign. The reason that I do it is because later on we'll have to combine some like terms kind of like in distributive property and uh, if the numbers are on the same side of that line I'm going to combine them the way that it says to. If I need to uh, sort of move one from one side to the other I need to do the opposite operation. Now I, my goal here is to get p by itself because that's what I want to know. I want to know what p equals. So I need to eliminate plus 10. The only way to get rid of plus 10 is the opposite operation, which is, of course, minus 10. If you do something to one side of the equation, you have to do it to the other. Now 10 minus 10 cancels out, and I end up with p equals 19. So now I know that 19 plus 10 equals 29. I can move on and get to the, the next part of it. Uh, so for the next one, very similar problem. Uh, but it's really good to get your form down early on. So I draw the line, I add 1 to both sides because the opposite of minus 1 is addition. Negative 7 plus 1 is negative 6. So my final answer for this one is just negative 6. One step equations, really not that mentally taxing to pull off. In this one, uh, you draw your line here. I would say it's minus 11, and the opposite of minus is addition, so I'd add 11 to both sides, end up with, you know, something like uh, negative 19, whatever. Um, but that's how it goes. Draw your line and do the opposite. Now, what happens if the relationship isn't add-subtract? In this case, the relationship is multiply. So I'm going to take, um, draw my line first. I always like to start out by doing that, and then I'm going to uh, look at the relationship between the x and whatever it's with. The variable is the only thing that matters. And don't freak out because the x is on the right side. It works the same way. It, the equation can be flipped over. It won't hurt anything. If it's touching the negative 2, it means multiply. The opposite of multiply is divide. So I'm going to divide by negative 2. Now, in the add subtract ones, you probably saw me like, um, well, you had plus and then it became minus. Well, that's because the opposite of addition is subtraction. The opposite of multiplication is not negative division. It's just division. So you have to divide by the negative 2 here. You have to do it to the other side as well, by the way. And negative 2 divided by negative 2 is just 1. So I have 1x equals 6. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, let's uh, do another one. I'm trying to cover all the types that I can think of. In this case, it looks like a fraction which of course uh, this line means divide so it says n divided by 18 so the opposite of divide is multiply so I'm going to multiply by 18 and I'm going to multiply by 18 here and I'm going to end up with I think uh, negative 90 I'm just going to make sure I'm a little paper here so I've got n is equal to negative 90 now why does that 18 make it go away well really uh, n over 18 could be written as 1 over 18 times n. And if I do 1 over 18 and I multiply it by 18, as you can see, the 18s cancel out. You're just left with 1. So the only thing left over would be the 1. So the opposite of the division is, of course, multiplication. Pretty simple stuff. As long as you kind of keep it nice and clean so you can see it, you shouldn't really miss any. Uh, same thing here. It's divide, so you multiply. Uh, this one's a little bit of a different look. It's still an add-subtract relationship, but you have to pay attention to where the sign is. 
in this one it says 14 minus b equals 25. The relationship between the b and the 14 is one of add or subtract. Uh, in this case it's 14 minus the b. But I'm not trying to get um, 14 by itself. I'm trying to get b by itself. So I need to think what sign is on 14. Well this is plus 14. In order to get rid of it I need to subtract 14. If you start doing uh, an add here because it says minus right there, you're missing the boat because the, this minus has nothing to do with the 14. It only has to do with the B. So do this. Uh, 25 minus 14 gets you down to 11. I don't know, lost my mind there for a second. You have to bring down your negative B. Now, if you don't see a number in front of B, it's because there's a 1 there. So it's negative 1. I need to divide by negative 1, so my final answer is positive or negative 11. Can I test that? Yeah, absolutely. If I do 14 minus negative 11, well, that's the same as 14 plus 11, which is, of course, 25. So make sure when you have that kind of setup, you subtract that 14, and bring down the negative 5 or negative b, and then divide by negative 1 to make sure you get to the right answer. From here, Let's see if there's any other ones that look odd. Not really, not really. Here's one that's a little bit different, but not by much. In this case, uh, my only concern, I guess, is that you'll see that plus right there and think you should subtract six, uh, negative six, but that's not what you're doing. Uh, this plus goes with the n because it's in front of it. The six has a minus in front of it, and the relationship between the two is one of add and subtract because there's a sign here. So in, to get rid of minus six, I'm going to add six. You could add negative. Uh, you could add. Uh, you could subtract negative six if you like, but that seems really overly complicated. N equals negative seven. Let's test to see if it's right. Negative six plus negative seven does give me negative thirteen. So you can actually plug your answer that you get back in just to see if it works. So you can sort of test your own problem, which is a nice feature of uh, one-step equations, and it works for any equation really. I don't know why I defined it as one step. So that's it. Uh, just make sure you follow the rules. Uh, draw a line down the middle, move things over using opposite operations, and everything should be good.